Hello. Hey. It's it's been a minute. <laughs> oh, good. That's uh, thanks for the update. Because uh, I really uh, yes, genuinely thank you. needed. <laughs> I needed forgot a to. I had no idea. What <laughs> I had no to. clue. Um, we're gonna yeah, go well, in this car. Cool. I don't think that's the car they had envisioned for us. But oh shit! You know what I gotta do? I gotta stop the car what? first. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. Oh, fuck! How do I stop this car? Okay, now I gotta pull out. And my, I gotta pull the... out my notebook, which is which button? This button. And I gotta there do we go. this. It's been a minute since we've played. This. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has been a bit, a minute. Almost. Um, a I was month. just gonna say, if you if you press the the left trigger, usually stops the car. It makes it go backward right if you enough. hold it down. Right enough. But as, uh, as we have learned by now, I <laughs> am not a good driver. No, I really, I'm, I'm really scared for when you actually, you miss the turn. No, dude, because it's up. So I got to like, if I turned there, I would have not been able to like get up. <laughs> right. So I got to, okay. because uh, trust me, uh, I remember ooh. driving around in circles. Yes. When we last did this, because I could not find this guy's fucking house. And it's because <laughs> you gotta go up. Yeah. Let me get out and these ruffians make make some snarky snarky, snarky ass comments. comments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking sprints into the house. <laughs> Just like boys. Yeah, it's very LAPD, isn't it? It is very like, uh, busted in the door. No questions asked. But we're detectives. We're better than that. We're refined. Hey, why, are you, why are you trying to go in there? That's not where he is. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get ahead. Well, always got to be one step ahead, Julian. Keep him guessing. No. <laughs> it's not how this game works. No, I know. Well, I'm learning that, haven't I? Yeah, you are. You're you're fast learner. Oh shit! Do I know where he lives? Uh, yes, you do. You can always check your notebook. Oh, oh some letters. Oh, it's number three. Here he is. I see, that was there detective work. That was. I felt the buzz of the controller, and it told me <gasps> to look. It, it went vroom. No. Oh, that is apartment three. Thank God, because I could not see. Yes. LAPD, man. I could I could see it fine, man. I could not. It was very dark. I could not. See you should probably put up the brightness on your own laptop. You understand? Yes. Because you keep your brightness quite it low, is don't you? Up, like on the thing. I might have to go into my settings. Hang on. I'll wait until I finish speaking to Anna. I don't know, man. The stream's fine. Yeah, the stream's fine. But you said I should turn up my brightness, so. I'm gonna need to go. No, no, settings. don't turn turn up the brightness of the game because the game's fine. Oh, well, my screen brightness cannot be increased. Anymore. Okay, well, guess there's nothing we can do. I guess there's nothing we can do. Well, let's just have a look around the you floor. You know what I could do with a pit boy torch? Right. So oh, look, it's a classic Ford. Wrong game. Yeah, it's, it's a cool car. I it's love vintage cars. I know nothing about cars, but I like vintage cars. I just think I know the I like them. Unless you help us here, Anna, you're going to want to see Papa for a very Oh, he was here. Breakfast for two, Anna. You should have cleared up. Yep. A meal por dos. Oh, no, I've seen that. Nope. Done that already. Yeah, I... What the fuck were they eating? This is some Toast. dirty ass plates. Yeah, but toast though. Toast. Are oh, you hey, gonna man. go into the? Toast can get messy. I'm absolutely gonna go check out this shed. It has a golden handle. Means you can go inside. Fuck yes. That's Ooh. incriminado. Diplomatic license plates. Oh. Yeah. These will probably mean nothing, but I'm gonna look at them anyway. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, I just got to make sure. I couldn't... I can remember some of it, but I don't remember all of it. I mean, what? I've never played this before. Ah, like <laughs> oh, shit. That old chestnut. Oh, but somewhere... 
Yeah, there's that. If I had a hammer. <laughs> hey, I do. I would hammer in the morning. Okay, this is all apparently junk, but somewhere I thought there was a span or... Yes. No. No, mm. that isn't it, but... Mm. Yep. What the fuck? Oh, the wheels. <gasps> Those are some fancy-ass wheels. Nice. Alright, I think we're done here. Yeah. I think I know what you mean by the spanner. I think the spanner is actually... It was at the crime scene. Ah, yes, it was. Yeah. You are correct. So... Ah, see, what a team we make. Boy, am I glad to I have know, you. I know, right? All right, what's in what what's in here? Let me see your undies. Oh, I mean, uh, John! Your evidence. <laughs> Aha! A clue. No good to me. Oh no! Oh, not a man of God. Ah, uh, yes, no, the finger. Just not a Catholic. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's nice, but it's no good. <laughs> No Let's have a look me. at it. What's this shit? No. I have no idea what this Jorge. shit is. I think it's baby names. No. Oh, that's right. Jorge's you know. a nice name. Jorge. Yeah. George. I would like, if I had a... Uh, if I have a little baby boy, I would call him Jose. Or Jose. Oh, right. Yeah. I think I might be them, ready to question her. Oh, yeah, for sure. We have we have all our evidence. You're in serious trouble, Miss Oh, yeah, that's right. Bring the hammer here. of law down. I have done nothing wrong. So let's start with the last contact with Gabriel. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. That's a lie? That's a straight up lie. I mean, look at your notebook. So the way that you should do always do this is look at the notebook. Think about what you would... Yeah, breakfast plates. Uh, because that you can already use that uh, against yeah, her, okay. you know? Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I yeah. See. So you can definitely go for a lie there. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here. But he hasn't come home. I swear it. She's talking shit. Breakfast plates. And I know Breakfast it for a Breakfast plates. Fact. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over yeah. the Yeah. Yeah. That's generally, uh, that's generally a good way to go about it. If you're like, I'm not sure they might be lying, go through your notebook, see yeah. if there's something you can pin on them. And if there isn't, then it's usually you can go for, like, doubt. I don't know what and I don't want to know. It's a good yeah. way to go about it, I think. Okay, so, so... It's all about deduction, you know? Why did he steal the car, Anna? All about that seduction, you know? Him. Yes. <laughs> he has his honor, no? Gotta seduce. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to check? Maybe. Because I don't want to get all it right. wrong, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two sex, two sex. Uh, or I could use my intuition. Ah, no, don't waste your intuition. Um, there's a time and a place for that. Um, okay. You know? Right. So, what is it? Motive for auto theft? Yes. Um, what does your gut tell you? And I'll tell you if your gut is right or wrong. I think, because I can't think of anything that I can, like, ultimately pin on her. I think I might doubt it. Mm, your your gut is a little wrong. Okay. I think she's all right. She's li she's telling the truth. Yeah. Is honor Anna? He said do his friend tried to make a woman out of him. Oh, I see. No yes, of course. This man do we. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. 
That's a nasty word. You shouldn't be using that. Yeah, that's true. But hey, different times. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Yeah, well, where is he? Oh. I'm doubting her. Yeah, yeah, he totally should. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. I wish I could remember his name in Mad Men, because I can't remember his name in this. Oh, I'm sure editor Julian will tell us. Thanks. Thanks, editor Julian. No worries. I don't know why I said no worries. I'm not editor Julian. Can regular Julian tell me what his name is in this game? The character. What's my character called? Um, put in a good word for you, Adam. Phelps. 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 Detective Phelps. Thank you. That sounds like a street race to me. Street race. I can't remember his first name. Here he comes. Here comes Street Racer. But I like Phelps. He's All right. just he's a guy who just wants to get to the bottom of things. Okay, Julian, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Should I wait for my friend? I'll leave it up to you. What do you think? Maybe you should I mean, count down. No. But you know, if you <laughs> if you think so, I will stop and I'll let him get in the car. Uh, I'll let him get in the car because he'll say some interesting shit while you're racing. You know. All right, on you go, son. What kind of man leaves his <laughs> Fuck's sake, John, you need a car. You're I've supposed car. to be racing. No, but you're not gonna have much of a car left. It's fine, I can just like. I can just get like, the car stuck. It. I don't think you're gonna. No, get it's fine, out. I can squeeze it. Sure. Oh, yeah, you did squeeze it. Shit. You can't drive through things in this game. No, I know, I know. That's why I tried not to drive through the fence. I just. I, I clipped the building. Shit, where am right. I going? Uh, you got a map. Yeah, I know I've got a map, but I need to watch the road. I'm stressed because my car's all beat up. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just get another car then. Well, no. Just, just this pull over still some moving. like... And I gotta go fast because you know, otherwise what the race would they, What would the LAPD Whoa, do? sir! They would just like... They would, they would, they would either stop Julian, somebody who thought was Jewish or Irish Catholic, and then they would just get on their What's, way. Uh, how do I handbrake? I think it's circle. Sick. Oh, that looks like a fucking cool car. Hey, you, come here. Give me your vehicle. My partner cannot drive this. I don't give a shit. I can drive this vehicle. LAPD, I need your car now. One goddamn day. Get in, Phelps. That's not, no, that's Bukowski. Get in, Bukowski. Open your eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, Bukowski I gotta take a right. It. I gotta take a right. I gotta take a right. I never left. Nice. nice okay, now there. I gotta take a right. Shit. Fuck off! Fuck. I gotta keep this car alive, Julian. God damn. Okay. Yes, you do. Hang a left here. If you want to keep it alive, I would suggest. It's crazy, I know. But using the the button for braking? I don't know what that is, Julian. Oh, right uh, you... Left trigger, you said, stops the car, and if you hold it, it reverses. But, like, how do I handbrake? Circle. Thank you. I told you. Ah, uh, sorry. I, I, I may have heard you, but not I, been listening. Classic. Yes, yes. It's something I do often. Oh, you motherfuckers. I'm, I'm just saying you don't want to use the handbrake turn unless you're doing, like, some really extreme turns anyway. Some, like, Tokyo so. Drift, yeah. Yeah. These fuckers! Whoa! That was, our boy. The that was crazy. Thank you. 
You, sir, are crazy. I know. Wait, how did I all right. of a sudden get a siren? I commandeered a vehicle. I don't know. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. It's just Bukowski just it. like... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a permanent cherry, like, in his jacket pocket. Oh... Uh... No, that's just the noise that comes out of his mouth, man. It's crazy. Oh, nice! Oh, shut up, Bukowski. You're not even my favorite poet. Who is your favorite poet? I don't know. I like a little bit of William Blake, not gonna lie. I don't know, I'm not... I didn't read a lot of poetry. Fair. I don't really know how I feel about it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's a bit shit. It's like music. Yeah, totally, man. <laughs> get fucked. Right, get out. Don't shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot him. <laughs> I know, but... He's Hispanic, you know? You might not be able to help himself. Now who's a man? Oh, okay. Insecure. Don't know what for. Hey, also, he might just be straight, and that's not cool, either. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. You know. You're just born that way, you can't help it. Exactly. Either way. That's textbook policing, and we need more of Textbook it. policing. He looks nice. Like <clears throat> there you go. There we go. Done. All we needed was a little help from the internet. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just your partner telling you whether uh, you're on the right lines or not. That's true. That's true. <laughs> What's happening I here? I did a lot of vehicle and city damage. Yikes. Who cares? Not me. Ugh. Alright. The city should be so lucky that they've got me. Uh -oh. oh! Weekend Liberty Jack. My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. Jack I mean, sounds like a right stations. stick. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters. That's a, they're, that's a really but weird question to ask somebody. Yes. Is your sister hot? Uh, she's my sister. Yeah, but she hot though. I. Good job, Kelso. So hang on, why is Phelps like lackey again? Like, why is he being like the right hand man? Because he's he's been he's been chosen for like. Sergeant training, basically, somewhere? like you know, yeah. special boy no training. I see. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine, the four is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are Fuck off, finished? Phelps. I know I am Phelps, but I don't really like him very much. No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. That's right, yeah. So, um, he did there in, like... Special special boy training, yeah, right? In, oh, oh, like, uh, the two, oh, oh, like all of them, and he's like, "No, fuck court. you! I'm gonna be boots on the ground and actually a boot do boy. something." Yeah, yeah. Rather than I'm gonna storm the many beaches. Oh, oh yeah, this. Oh, yeah, this. yeah. I mean, what? What? We've never seen this before. <laughs> what? What is happening? What? what? I got a light one for right, you, boys. I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Nice. You're lying, right, Morgan. <laughs> on his way. Get down there, I like your ass. Put a make on the car. <laughs> Let's go, Bukowski. 
Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, and you can also replay any cases that you enjoy doing, which is cool. Replay. Ha <laughs> What a great line. What? I used to be then indecisive. Here. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Are you gonna wait for him? Oh, come on, Grotowski, let's go. <laughs> hey! It's not his fault he has a Polish name. No, but I just gave him a different Polish name. After one of my theater... Your favorite poets? No, well, I suppose <laughs> a guy who did some interesting things with theater. All right. His name was Jerzy Grotowski. Uh huh. And he invented. What did he do? Oh, well, not invented, but like. He studied in Moscow for a long time, and then he mm -hmm. started his own theater, and he started a, a make of theater essentially where like. It, you only use actors. He was like one of the first of that kind of new wave style wait, where wait, like there's no sets, no sets, no lights. Like the humans are the props, oh, like they are right. the whole stage, oh, the everything. Yeah. Didn't even use costumes and he called it simply poor theater. And then as he got older, he started getting a bit more like introspective and like retrospective and stuff like that. So like he'd had a whole thing on like theater of the sources. So like he went back to a lot of the places where he grew up and like would revisit them. Okay. And um, that was all about like getting in touch with the kind of childlike engagement with the world of just like almost curiosity. Right. Like, just, are you all right, man? Yeah, you okay. just sort of pause there for a minute. That's okay. It's because I got into it. I was talking. About, I know a lot about big, big yes, you know. Yeah, I could talk about him for. It's a, it's a interesting, like, um, just how much revolutionary <laughs> art. Russia produced. Well, he was Polish. Um, oh, sorry. Well, like just the Eastern Bloc in general, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, like he was, he was running like, his uh, stuff in Poland in the sixties. Like, yeah. Yeah. Very much yeah. Eastern so, like, Poland, but like I'm also thinking of like oh, Russia in particular. But just yeah. Um, it's interesting the kind of art that gets produced under, I don't know, oppression and. Mm -hmm. persecution and also the lack of art that gets made sometimes like um yes, cuba is like a really good example of um basically you know the buena vista social club that whole thing uh i know of it yeah right so um i could be again i i, I might get a couple of details mixed up here and there but from what I understand, in Cuba, being a musician is like a state-sanctioned job. So okay. you work in like little tiny conservatories, and you, it's just a job you get. And you're like, there you go, you're a musician now. Yeah. You like playing music? You're a musician. You teach music. And that's that's what you do for society. And it's great, but uh, a lot of these old guys, excellent musicians, um, just had no drive. Yeah, okay. Because they were just sitting around... And playing cards and smoking and reading the newspaper and then they would go not home. Not doing much else, yeah. And not doing much else. Uh, and then they started getting like a couple of, uh, it was an American guy, jazz musician, went to Cuba and was started playing with these guys. And basically got them, to, got them out and started gigging. And then they just got a new lease of life and yeah it's interesting it is i think uh, I'm, i am missing quite a few details here but that's okay. um, editor julian i'm sure yeah, editor there. julian will fill us in slightly or you could just google it <laughs> just google <laughs> yeah yeah that's a damn that's rough is a long way from the body. Karma's been going like a bat out of hell. Like a bat out of hell, let me go on when the morning comes. I really like meatloaf. I, I quite like meatloaf, yeah. I like meatloaf. 
I like Bruce Springsteen as well. I feel like they get a lot of shit. Um, I think there's some stuff in the alleyway. Before we go into the alleyway, correctly. I'd like to talk about the fact that this is Ray's Cafe. Mm -hmm. Over there, we have Ray's Emporium. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna hop, jog on over so you can get a better look at that. Yes. Ray's, Ray's Record Emporium. Ray's Record Emporium. Now, are they affiliated? Is this the same Ray? You know? That's what it I want to know. Oh, what kind of hat is he wearing? Mm. That's important. Just a regular hat. Okay. It's a, it's a milady hat. Milady. Milady. My corpse. <laughs> oh, a knife. A kind of. Knife. Le knife. That is crusty. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen. You're I don't know, man. Gratowski. <clears throat> oh, actually, editor Julian, while you're here, uh, fucking mm -hmm. stick in a wee picture of our boy Jez. I'll send you a, Jez? his name. Yeah, Jerzy Gratowski. Oh, right, okay. Because yeah. there's some cracking photographs of him. He's a really cool dude. Anyway, right, well, let's, go let's talk to, let's this talk man. to the lady. Miss Perry. Yes. I presume. Miss Perry looks a little bit funky. Indeed. But so does everybody in this game. So, you saw this. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing down there. I'm just a southern belle. Oh. Uh, yeah, she's good. 100%. Man and knock him down the street. Oh dear. My daddy owns the railways. My daddy. <laughs> My uh, daddy. So, hang on, should I? I'll just go one by one. I'll just do it as we come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually the best way to go about it rather than mixing it up. I want to be incontinental. Uh, she's telling the truth. Oh, yeah. If they're making direct eye contact with you, they're telling the truth. Unless what they're saying is a blatant lie. <laughs> Not very... Oh, thank you for the name. It's okay. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Oh, that's a lie. <clears throat> it's not necessarily a lie. Well... Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. In the, in the, so in the later version... You're using the, this is the the original, it's like truth, doubt, lie. Yeah. And, the, and the new one, it's like good cop, bad cop, which actually Ooh. makes more sense. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because doubt is a bit of a weird word. Whereas if someone's acting shifty, then you're like, well, let's just bad cop on them. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Yeah, intimidate them a bit, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Your information has been Give them a little bit of that LAPD flavor, you know? That's the one. I hope you find that driver and put him away. Oh, she's lovely. Yeah, she's, she's fine, her, you know. Can I give her my number? Ain't nobody's perfect. Wait, is Phelps married? Let's see what the patrons have to say. I think yes. he is. I'll take the bartender. He absolutely is. I remember the opening cutscene. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he has a ring as well. Oh, oh, it's this schmuck. Come in. Oh, yeah. Courtney, have a seat. So, I'm going to inject you with drugs. He's so creepy. I've got six foreheads, Courtney, and they all fold into one another. <laughs> Here, I have some heroin. If you can, I feel like, uh, I should say this, basically, because um, I don't want to steal somebody's joke, but I'm going to be giving credit where credit's to. There's a YouTuber called... Um, Noel Miller. Noel? Look him up. You probably know him already. Noel Miller is amazing. Um, uh, he does videos with another guy called Cody Cole. Like, and they're 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 like a duo, and they're really funny. But um, he did a video re recently. This doctor guy, really shifty. Uh, but he has this like. <laughs> he point. He makes a point about people who have like this very particular receding hairline where the hairline stops like in the middle of the head 
He's like, you see anybody without receding hairline, straight up evil. Goebbels. Is that where all the evil fucking comes in? Goebbels. Exactly. He's got that, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Right? It's either, if it's all the way, like, you're just bald on the top, you're fine. Right? Yeah. Because at that point, you, you you more or less have a halo, eh? Mm. But... <laughs> but if it's just in the a middle... Halo, eh? Straight up evil. Um, and with that, I can see your halo. It's time to end the episode. Oh, next episode time. <laughs> if only I could crouch it on something. It is next episode time. Uh, if only you could squat. Can I use your That's phone? That's a shame. There should be a mod out there that lets you slav squat in the game. Um, oh, you know what to do, boys and girls. I'll like, subscribe, me. share the video. Tell your you friends. Know, uh, tell your friends. Um, who is your favorite Slavic slash Eastern European artist? For me, of any kind. It, of any kind. Um, Shostakovich is a big one for me. Um, yes. That dude was brave. Yes. Straight up, he was a cheeky bastard, and I love it. <laughs> he was. I think he's he was possibly one of my favorites. As um, well. uh, anyway, we'll see you all. Next time. Bye. Bye. Part timers, we do this part time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.